Hey there guys, so today we have another review and this is a beer from Midnight Sun. This is their Berserker, which is their Imperial Stout, uh, brewed with maple syrup, molasses, eight, and aged in oak bourbon barrels. Comes in at 12.7%. Uh, have a little beer, uh, beer here and then sharing the rest. So uh, let's dig in here. So the beer comes out in a really nice color. It poured out like 10 fitty. It's really dark. It leaves a brown film on the glass. A nice kind of dark head on that. Coffee dark head, but quite thin of a head. Let's get the aroma on this. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Wow. It reminds me immediately of Abyss. Yeah. Um, a good amount of uh, bourbon character, good amount of vanilla, but in general... This almost kind of ten fitty kind of flavor as well, roastiness, caramel sweetness, toffee, really rich sweetness. So I guess the uh, the uh, maple syrup is playing through. A good amount of dark fruit, kind of a dried date uh, cherry kind of a note. Yeah, it's 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 almost like yeah, dried dates, dried figs wrapped around in a roasty coffee, chocolatey stout with vanilla. So the bourbon character is coming through. Awesome stuff. Cheers. Hmm. Boy, is that good. Wow, this beer is underrated. That's incredible, guys. Up front, I get a roasty bitterness, dark chocolate, but then also a savory note, a little bit of soy saucy, a little bit of like shiitake mushroom kind of umami note that, I'm, um, that I get in some Imperial Stouts. Rich sweetness throughout. A little bit of vanilla, so as the bourbon character is coming through. A little bit of bourbon, I'm saying medium amount of bourbon character. Reminds me a little bit of something like uh, Barrel Aged Boris, a little bit like the uh, Barrel Aged Laika. Um, the maple syrup is may maybe coming through with that kind of really rich sweetness. It's almost as if you put caramel on the stove for a little bit too long and it, it gets a little bit intense, a little bit burnt, a little bit rich. On the back end, coffee, espresso beans, smokiness. Dark fruit playing throughout. Again, that kind of dark fruit of dried figs, dried dates, cherry kind of note. Black cherry, dried black cherry. And then the beer offers this kind of milk chocolate sweetness in the back end, balanced with that kind of roasted bitterness and molasses note. And again, that touch of smokiness. And then it flies off the palate very well. Medium plus to full mouthfeel. Really rich and creamy. Sits on the palate, but also dries off the palate pretty decently. You're left with a little bit of sweetness left. That's intensely fl uh, flavorful. Really rich in flavor. Oh, that's amazing. Highly recommended, guys. This is amazing stuff. This beer is getting a 99 from me. Highly underrated. I believe Midnight Sun is one of the best bower programs around, and this beer is a testament to that. Absolutely amazing stuff. If you guys want to know what Top and Goliath's Assassin tastes like, this beer is not too far. Pretty close, I'd say. Um, yeah, this beer is pretty close. I would say in the same vein. They're not completely exactly the same on tasting notes, but in the same vein of mouthfeel, complexity of barrel character, base beer some similarities as well. And this beer is 12.7. So uh, yeah, I guess Assassin's pretty close there as well. So highly recommended. Let me know what you think about Midnight Sun's barrel program. If you had, if you had this beer, let me know. And uh, until next time, guys, cheers. Uh, later.